Hello everybody, Arashu YT here and welcome to a special kind of video. Because, for the people who don't know, I really love to voice act. Now, I did not have that many voice acting jobs in the past, but a good friend of mine, by the name of Simia, has a YouTube channel dedicated to LEGO Stop Animation. And I know Simia for more than five years because I started knowing him when I started doing YouTube. When I uh, got myself involved into the Pokemon Draft League community, uh, we met thanks to the FBL. And because of that, you know, I learned out that he made LEGO Stop Animation. And one day he was looking for people uh, that wanted to voice act for some of his projects. And I actually helped him out for a few projects and I will show you guys a quick reel of the stuff that I have done for him in the past. We're leaving. I have to go. Alright. How about we match ourselves by strength? I will sit this one out. Let's duel! Like real Jedi! Boss is near to stop us, so let's give it our all! <laughs> Look! I'm a sit now! Ah! Wait! I'm interested. And itching for a fight. Alright then, drop your weapons. None. But you wanted to know what we're about, right? We can spill a few beans if you spill a bit of your blood in exchange. Alright, so he also asked me to do a character for his upcoming X Fighters Season 3, which is one of his biggest, if not biggest, series on his YouTube channel. And I thought, you know what, I need to do some episodes of me voicing a character. And I thought, because we are in qu quarantine, because we're inside, I thought, why not for, you know, why not record myself uh, doing some lines, doing some episodes, and just film myself uh, doing the voices for one of his characters in his series. Now, I won't be spoiling anything and I won't be showing any lines or I won't be showing the character itself and I of course won't show uh, all of the lines that I will be recording I will speed up a lot and just pick out some lines in between if I'm like you know what that's actually a good line I want to keep that in there uh, maybe I will actually only show lines that are not that spoiler heavy maybe so yeah I have the script here for one of the episodes and I have Audacity right here, and I will record myself filming the whole process, uh, and then that's going to be the whole uh, thing. So, yeah, I will just speed up the process, then maybe show me voice acting, but uh, let me actually go through the procedure of how I voice act, at least how I work with Simia. So Simia has a script of me and he highlighted my lines and like the context of the lines and like uh, some of the other characters that are interact with my characters right here. And in this episode I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. So that means that I have seven lines to voice in and most of the times I voice two extra lines. So uh, for line like I have line 89 here I will record one version of that line and then another version of that line so I try to mix uh, the emotions of how I would uh, execute that line and then Simia can actually pick one of the two lines that fits more uh, when he actually makes the episodes for the stop animation if that makes any sense so as I said before we have here one two three four five six seven lines so that's going to be 14 lines that I have to uh, voice record here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to set everything up and I will just, you know, do the lines. And mo most of the time I will do the lines like five, six times before I have the actual line uh, ready. But yeah, let's, let's just do it. And uh, yeah, I will actually be doing the lines now. So yeah.
right, so that one is that one was actually good, but you can actually hear. You can you can hear me like, like when I talk, and Simia gives gives me the tip like to, uh, you know, make sure that there's no like clipping sounds like. Or like other breathing sounds when voicing a clip because it's much easier for him to have a clip that's like perfectly uh, so that you don't hear any background noises and like breathing and such that counts a little bit as background noises unless it actually says in the script that I need to breathe heavily or such so this one was also good but I think no I, I, I have to redo this one because you can hear the breath so yeah Alright, so that was actually good. Uh, there was a bit of a pause. Yeah, there was a bit of a... You can't probably hear it because I'm hearing, uh, hitting my mic microphone. Uh, but between the... My bad. There's a big pause in between looks like I started you. So if I remove a little bit of that space here on Audacity... So that's, that's a perfect, I think this is one of the better ones from the two that I just did. Uh, so uh, this is going to be the sec second one. And now we can do the f next one, which is a bit long. No, it's about evenly long. There's going to be a lot of um, <laughs> long, like I have here one that I probably won't be showing but that's a very long line that's like four or five sentences in a row so <laughs> well uh, first I need to do the second one so <laughs> yeah for sure he's just like that he'll be a tough one to soften up That was, I think, a one-line wonder. I love that. I don't know, uh, because here I need to laugh, and I don't know what kind of... I don't know if my webcam is... I don't know what kind of laugh... I can actually see. Okay, I'm still good. I don't know what kind of laugh uh, Simia has intended for this character, so I just try to um, experiment myself with the laugh, so... I actually like this one. I, 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 that this one is actually perfectly fine. So. I need I need to be I need to be a little bit louder, but it's like in the evening, and I don't want to wake up my neighbors or anything. Well, it's it's, it's like 9 p.m. here, but still, I don't want to be that loud, and I don't have like foam that can take away the uh, sound. But I will try my best. All right, so <clears throat> well, if you behave well enough, you may be allowed to move again. I'd say at least a week before any kind of training, under supervision, obviously. We can't have you running around freely. Oh, wait. Let me remove this. Alright, I think I like this line, but I think in terms of emotion I could do better. So I will save this line, again it's up to Simia, and most of the time if Simia doesn't like both of the lines or he had an other interpretation 
of what the line is supposed to be. Most of the time, he you know send me a message and be like, hey, uh, can you maybe redo these, 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 and these lines because. Uh, and that's because, of course, of the language barrier. Like, my English is quite perfect. Uh, I'm not a 10 out of 10, but uh, sometimes Simia uh, interpreted a word differently than how I would be doing it. So it's all like communication against both of us. But I think this line is good, but I think I can do better. But I will save this line and then hope um, that either of the line is good enough for uh, Simia to be... Uh, like, it, at, at the end, Simie decides. Simie is the one that puts everything together. So, uh, I will save this line, and then I will do another version of the line. And then we're halfway through to doing everything. So, yeah. Okay. So. Well, if you behave well enough, you may be allowed to move again. I'd say at least a week before any kind of training. Under supervision, obviously. We can't have you running around freely. I have a good feeling about this one. This one where is where I actually uh, use my breathing good. So this one is absolutely perfect. So we're gonna save that. And on to the next line, I think. No, this one is actually uh, simple. After this one, there comes a whole bunch of lines in a row. So that's going to be, like, very hard to absolutely nail. But we're going to try our best. Mm, no, okay. <clears throat> and if anything happens, I'll provide healing. Alright, so this is going to be maybe noticeable, uh, especially if you watch my videos for long enough. Uh, my S, like sometimes I keep my S's on for too long, so uh, if you watch my old intros, like, hello everybody, SSA here, aka Super Sunarashi, like the Super Sunarashi, I always keep that S going, but when it comes to voice acting, especially when you're playing a character like this one, who is a little bit more... Um, this character is... I haven't talked about the character, I'm not going to spoil which character it is, but this character is like... It started out very insecure and very... Uh, like as a wimp, basically. But slowly during the series he'll get more confidence, like like actually like me in real life. And I think that's why I like voicing this character, because this character really speaks to myself. Like starting from the bottom, and now we're here, even though I'm not a big YouTuber, but you know, it, it does um, fits me as a character. That's why I try to put in, like I try to use my own voice, but with a little bit of a RG Rick, uh, you, know, you know, Morty's kind of voice. I, I When I did this uh, character, I tried to put in a little bit of Morty from Rick and Morty and a lot of my own voice and try to blend that in. So, uh, to, to, to just get to the point, my S is, I need to, when I voice, I need to use the S's much better instead of, you know, what I did in my intro back in the day and what is just me as a person. I have a long S and I need to actually get that right. That's why when it comes to like many of these voice acting lines that I'm doing, you can actually see that I'm redoing everything because I just don't like the way how I sometimes pronounce the word and it just needs to be a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, that's that's just a little bit of what I need to learn more, but let's just get back into uh, the lines themselves.
right. I think... I think I did that in one try. The only downside is that it may sound too soft. So I'm going to save this one and I'm going to do one with a little bit more volume to it. And then hopefully Simea has like an idea which line is better. And if I had to redo it, then we're going to redo it of course. So I'm going to save here and I'm going to do it once again. Alright, I think the whole line is perfect and with the volume as well. But I'm going to do one more extra line from this because it is a long line and I want to do as perfect as possible. So I think this one was also good. I think I have three versions of the lines where Simia can actually find out which one is perfect. So hopefully that's good enough and if I need to redo it over again I will do it. But we have two more lines to go so four more lines in total. So. We're almost done with this episode, and I've been recording for almost 35 minutes, so this is a shorter episode uh, than usual, or at least uh, I'm not heavily featured, my character is not heavily featured in this episode, but imagine when I had to do an episode where I had like triple the lines, I would be taking one and a half, maybe two hours to just complete every line, so... I'm going to actually drink after this session and then we'll be continuing on forward. I don't like I don't like that. It's 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 too ro it's too robotic. I need more emotion in it. <clears throat> yeah. I feel this is the beginning of a new era for you, Lloyd. Alright, I like that one, but I can do better, but I will save this one because it's a good line in general. But I will try to put a little bit more emotion to it, and then I might be done with this episode. Yeah, I feel this is the beginning of a new era for you, Lloyd. No. <clears throat> yeah. I feel this is the beginning of a new era for you, Lloyd. Okay, a little bit more spacing in there. That was my phone. <laughs> and then a little bit spacing there. Let me actually check my phone real quick. All right, nothing important. So let me actually check it out. All right, I like that one, especially the um, end of that sentence. I really, really like. All right, so I will save. And I think... I think that's the end of this episode that I had to record for Simia. 
Uh, I need to do two more episodes, maybe three, uh, this evening. But I will be doing that off camera. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, I've been recording for about 30 to 40 minutes, but I will make sure like some stuff are cut out, some stuff are sped up. Uh, I will keep in some lines that I practice. And then, yeah, you can actually see me a little bit behind the scenes when I voice act for a project like Simia. Uh, I will make sure Simia's channel is in the description below. I will make sure that the videos that I was, um, that I voice act earlier for Simia, that those are in the description as well. And yeah, be sure to check out Simia's channel. Be sure to check out his project. He has a lot of you know, good voice, uh, like good stop motion animation from LEGO on his channel. And it's always a pleasure to f work for him when it comes to these kinds of projects. So if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more stuff like this on the channel in the near future, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share this video with others, slash the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon because then you get notified every time I upload a new video and that is sincerely appreciated. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.